Good morning to the Dogecoin community. Welcome to another Daily Dose of Doge Shadow Realm edition. We had a large flow of new viewers yesterday. My guess would be because Doge had a nice move. Today, the views are expected to pull back, which actually, believe it or not, whenever Doge views make a lower high, we actually go down after that. I, that's actually what happened back here. The views were really high the next day they were lower and then we actually fell so let's see what happens with the views if we can get like three to four thousand views then that means that the momentum is still there if it's below three thousand then the momentum might have died out but in my opinion this has been the case that we laid out for the last couple of months heading into the end of the year i do think we hit 22 cents by december if it happens before that great I learned my lesson. I'm not going to put timeline and timestamps on everything. We saw Ethereum had a little nice move. A nice little move, I guess. Unfortunately, we didn't break 2800 as predicted. Now, some people might be wondering, why do you care so much about Ethereum? Now, other, other YouTubers might not be talking about this because, let's face it, you can just make a video with Doge, make a face, and people will click on it. But I put so much energy into this because I'm trying to figure it out for myself because unlike the other YouTubers, I'm not a millionaire and I want to be a millionaire and I don't want to wake up and say, why am I not a millionaire? I'm trying to find out why. And the reason we cover Ethereum so extensively, even though this is a Doge video, is because as we've said many times before, which I'm sure everyone is saying at this point, maybe not, Ethereum is the key to alt season. Now, I know we have a fantasy where doge goes to ten dollars and ethereum doesn't move but that doesn't make any sense right that would be like me saying i comb my hair in the morning because one day it'll grow back it's not gonna happen but it's a great sign that dogecoin is pushing higher because that is actually what happened last time but what you'll notice is Ethereum is not behaving the same as last time. So this is where the medically regulated hopium comes in. It's actually possible that Dogecoin performs very strong, whereas Ethereum may actually become weaker. You're clearly seeing it. Ethereum is significantly weaker compared to last cycle, whereas last cycle around now, Ethereum had already spiked, whereas now... In today's cycle, it's just rubbish. It's bollocks. But Dogecoin is actually having almost the same exact move. Now, I don't want to delete this chart permanently, but we'll do it for the sake of the video just for right now. And I saw some jabroni said that he's using non-log charts or he's using non-log resistance on log charts. Buddy, do you not see what is going on? You hit the 236 every single market cycle, and you're trying to tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Keep watching, pal. No, I'm just kidding. But clearly, it's an easy way to gauge what's going on. And I would make the argument that if we do make the comparison to the previous market cycle, we hit the 236 and then fell. That's exactly what's happening. But the point I was trying to make is Doge is behaving similarly as last cycle. But Ethereum is not. So I think the good news is if Doge does actually break through 23 cents, which I think it will at some point, but if it actually does do that earlier than Ethereum starts moving, your hopium would be, to tie everything together, once the Bitcoin dominance does go like this, there's actually an increased probability that Dogecoin will go higher than expected. Now, I do think a conservative overlay would be 96 to 120, but a Moonboy estimate would be about $2. And I would argue that if Bitcoin doesn't really do that much, or Ethereum doesn't really do that much, and Dogecoin actually blows through the high, $2 is no longer a fantasy. I know people saying I'm clickbaiting. I'm literally explaining it to you, but... I would really keep an eye on this 22 cents. If Doge blows through this before Ethereum starts moving, then I think you got a shot at $2. However, to tie into the original point or the opening point, you cannot get a $2 Dogecoin without the Bitcoin dominance falling. All right. And you can't get the Bitcoin dominance to fall unless Ethereum wakes up.
which I do think we're getting close to that because even with all of our crazy theories, we've been mentioning, which I, this is not a proprietary idea. I'm sure many other people said it before me. I just realized it myself. But if you do measure from the halving, where does the Bitcoin dominance start to rug? This one was 266 days after the halving. This one was 240 days after the halving. And right now we are 184 days post halving. So if you slap Dogecoin on here, you can clearly see that in order for Dogecoin to go through a parabolic rally, you clearly need the Bitcoin dominance to go down. And that's why I always talk about Ethereum because in order for the Bitcoin dominance to fall, you need Ethereum to pump. And we can see clearly the rain has gone. We put our line here. Where does the Bitcoin dominance fall? Immediately Dogecoin bull run begins. 2020, where does the Bitcoin dominance fall? Dogecoin bull run begins. And that's why I said again, I think the fact that Doge is actually moving up with the dominance is potentially signaling a lot of strength in Dogecoin. That's good. But until the dominance rug pulls, we're not going to get this parabolic rocket launch that everybody's looking for, myself included. So that's why I always talk about Ethereum. I will continue to talk about Ethereum. But unfortunately, as of today, Ethereum is still rubbish. It's not going up. It doesn't want to go up. And that tells me that there's not going to be some $5 Dogecoin in the near future. But again, we'll see how the views do in this video. If the views are lower, that means the top is probably in. That usually is what happens. We can see Shiba is very lackluster as well. But again, Shiba is more tied to Ethereum because Shiba was built on Ethereum, whereas Doge is not correlated as far as the chain. But it is correlated because of alt season. So that's pretty much all I got today. Nothing really new to say. We are still very much in our green box. We've made the case that we should grind higher into the end of the year. And uh, I think a conservative estimate for Dogecoin would be 92 cents to $1.20. And then if you actually start looking higher, you can see uh, 170 to $2. And then if you do flip this off of log, or on log, I should say, you can see 160 appears a second time. So 160 is the next area of interest if we do take out 120. And we will leave it at that. Eight, around eight minutes isn't bad. As always, it is just my opinion. None of this is financial advice.